guys. So today we're on our way in to Hamley City Centre here in Stoke on Trent. For those of you who don't know the area, it's the most depressing city centre you could ever want to visit. Well, I want to show you today one or two things about this place. First of all, this lovely big hotel here you see is now an asylum secret hotel. It's been like that for a few months. There was rumours that they were going to ship them out and put them onto boats. Um, I've heard nothing else of that since. But it's closed to the public. Let me just get across here so you can get a better view of what's going on. You know. Okay. Right, so this hotel here with all the lights on everywhere while well, most people don't even switch the lights on in their own house let's follow the freeloaders yep it's alright I'm just being distracted there, then my me, me, me camera's playing up. Um, got one or two issues with the GoPro, it keeps overeating. Uh, so it's telling me then on my phone. It wasn't recording, so I got distracted. Right, so yeah, as I was saying, the big hotel here now, uh, Best Western, is um, full of the boat people. No, I don't know how many is actually in there um, but it's not exactly in the best of places right in the city centre but still it's gone ahead and that's it um, but that's one of the issues why this place is in such a mess because this city centre is overrun with migrants, dustheads, closed down businesses, takeaways, vape shops. Turkish barbers. Now I don't know, but it seems to me a lot of businesses are struggling and closing down because of rising costs and lack of footfall. But other businesses seem to be booming. Takeaways. Electric on all day cooking, hardly any footfall, but they seem to be springing up all over the place. Can't understand it myself. Turkish barbers, owners driving £100,000 Mercedes cars with hardly any customers. It all seems very strange when there's nobody in the place as you can see. So, there's not much to visit Anley for, as you can see. Yet these businesses are booming. Right. Now I'm going to move on to the next little thing that's occurred recently here in the town centre. I'll uh, cut the camera in and show you when we get there, guys. 
guys so we're going to have a little walk down here now and um, show you the bank here where the dust heads hang out well they're just leaving so I'm going to be showing that but basically what it is as the dust heads there are all just going across the road all hang about the Quackity Bank here hassling customers, hassling the bank staff for coffee asking customers for money and the bank actively encourages it so the um, let them in serve them free water free coffee let them doss in the hallway in the foyer sorry at the bank very intimidating for customers especially elderly customers and female customers um, I can understand why they do it, they don't want the trouble, so it's best to... There we are, we've got some more here. Two more. I've got nothing on me, so I always play on my phone. <laughs> there you are. Two dust heads. I know some of you'll say, oh, their own list, blah, blah, blah. no, 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 no. Some of the characters around here don't want to be housed. They're quite happy living on the street. So don't be, uh, don't be thinking I'm cruel or cold-hearted. You just have to be wise. So going on to the next issue here now is that this lovely listed building here that we're going to see in a minute across the road here this lovely church here has now been turned into a mosque right next to the shopping centre here in the city centre now before any of the comments say yes but it's been a church next to the shopping centre what's the problem well that church never wanted that shopping centre so close but it went ahead anyway regardless but one of the things I'm here for to keep an eye on is this chairs is a listed building and the stained glass is listed so this now being a mosque I want to know how that glass window fits in with their faith because I've got a feeling in the coming months, weeks, possibly even days, that stained glass window is going to meet an accident. I really cannot see how the Muslim Brotherhood will let these beautiful stained glass windows stay. So, it's something that needs to be kept an eye on. And the other thing I'm here for is I'm not bothered what people's faiths are, they can believe in whatever God they want. But these mosques bring issues with parking. Now, I was here last week 
observing and the cars the amount of cars out here this car park couldn't take it so they were parked all on the WR lines outside all up the side street over there on WR lines causing traffic issues and guess what no traffic wardens to be found anywhere never is easy money fill your boots but no no traffic wardens to be found so this is the issues that you're going to start getting around here people are oblivious to what happens so yeah I'll we'll have to keep an eye on this the two side windows here well look looks like it's started to be knocked around a bit already inside but yeah the two side windows there where there is no stained glass I thought they had been removed recently because the lead looks quite new and there's still the sticky labels that you have on units of glass but apparently they were removed years ago so nobody has removed the glass recently but yeah look such a beautiful building I just don't know how it's going to fit in with the faith that now operates from here so this is like I say something that needs to be uh, kept an eye on so guys we're back right into the city centre now right in the middle and this is as is, um, as good as it gets another dust dead here in the doorway suckered into thinking these people are homeless because they're beyond help if they're given homes they do trash it anyway so but yeah Stoke is the monkey dust capital of the country around this city centre long enough and you'll see all the zombies coming out still early at the moment so most of them are in bed plenty of them lying up down here sitting here harassing folks oh look another Turkish barbers with no customers in let's go this way vape shop no customers in nail bars no customers in They all seem to be popping up everywhere. Why other shops are closing? Very strange. I'm not suggesting that these places are being used for money laundering. Not at all. <laughs> it does seem very odd. Oh look, people. I 
depends how many of these are from the hotel. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why nobody comes into this shit all over town centre. We're importing piss poor people who have no money to spend. Who don't drink in the local bars. They don't eat in certain restaurants. They have no money and they wonder why the place is dying on its arse. Importing thousands of piss poor people. Now we're all a bit poor these days. Nobody's uh, nobody's es escaping the the impact. Look at this streak completely wiped out. The only shop that's surviving is Shoe Zone. The card factory in a building society but one thing's important to, uh, to know here about this city centre is yes all towns are struggling but this city has been in decline long before the cost of living crisis the war in Ukraine Covid, all the usual excuses that get wheeled out. <laughs> this city centre's been dying for years and years. Look at that. Even cash converters has gone. That says it all. But in fairness, apparently that's an argument with the landlord. Foot four is playing its part in it. So yeah, that folks is Amni City Centre. Now, I've been here a couple of times, and I filmed it in the winter. Well, let's be honest, most places are bleak. But this is now July and it's still bleak. An absolute slump. Another nail bar. So all these shops here are closed, but the nail bar, with no customers, the guy just sitting on the chair, manages to stay open. And these shops can open several of them in the city centre. How's that work then? Let's go, uh, let's go this way. Absolutely detest coming up this city centre, it breaks me heart to see how it is. Hate coming up here, hate being associated with it. I get sick of people saying, Stop moaning about it, it's grim for everyone and everywhere. Well, what do you do then? Just accept it because some people seem to have been conditioned and think it's fine with what's going on. I've no time for them people in my life. They want to sit back and accept what's happened, what's happened. That's fine. That's up to them. 
So again here we've got an entire street of shops wiped out. Office pantry here used to be such a popular place. Now closed down. So how the hell did such a popular place like that serving food shut down? Yeah, the kebab house with no customers keeps bringing up everywhere. How does that work then? Like so. The only shots we've got on here are the piss poor shops again. Wilco, Savers, Ryman. Well, no, that's not a piss poor shop, that's unfair to say it is. Some European supermarket. Bet your mask will pool. This guy have just passed us off the boat. Just filling in uh, a job centre pool there. Must have been giving his asylum. So, yeah, another dust that I've been there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Oh, shit, they're Put in every creek and cranny. And what happens is, later in the day, most of them will sit on these benches here. There we are. Turkish barbers, nobody in. Those are all driving Mercedes and Audis. So guys, is it uh, for those of you out the area? Is it inspiring you to uh, come and visit our city centre? I'm going to take you down now the cultural quarter. This is the last bit. In this area is supposed to be the hub of the nightlife here in Anley. Cosmopolitan feel it says. Mm. Customers. One, one customer. So in that small space there, we've had four nail bars, and only one has got one customer. Yet they're springing up everywhere. So yeah, if you ever fancy a night out, folks, this is where it all happens for you. This is a, a hub. Are you okay, mate? Are you lost? No, you're all right, friend. I'm just doing a bit of filming. You're all right. <laughs> just walking around open jaw, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, mate. <laughs> oh, I've actually got a, what, a local. <sighs> Don't see many of them these days. So, yeah, as I was saying. This is where you would apparently come if you wanted uh, a bit of nightlife. Region. 
coming through to the ear. Can you imagine visiting this place? If you travel the area. Stepping out, wanting a drink and a meal. And this is what you were met with. Roberto's here, been here years, fantastic place, absolutely fantastic. That's probably one of the only good restaurants in the city centre. There we are, the music hall. We just sleep under the blanket. This big, grey, depressing building here is the BT. Telecom building. I know it looks like something out there. I think it's like a block. It's been there years. And then we're on the last little stretch of road here. So I've already covered this road. Nothing new to see here. I'm amazed that the last three shops on here are still open, which is the record shop, the bodybuilding shop, and the designer menswear shop. I'm amazed they are surviving. Of course, they've got the kebab shop, they always survive, no matter what. Uh, the economy. Try and get across this road here. I mean, just just look at it though. Honestly, what do you want to eat out of somewhere like that? I wouldn't want somebody touching my food. If that's what the outside of the building looks like. Everywhere, very discreetly. Some of them. There we are. It's just turned. Had a little scan up there. So, yeah, some of these cameras are being installed in the neighbourhood round here. I know it's needed for the alleyways, but um, I don't know. Certainly, big brother creeping in, putting them on streets, neighborhood streets. But yeah, so that's it, guys. That's Stanley, that's the city center, Asylum Secret Hotel, a new mosque right next to the shopping center, dust heads in every corner and every doorway, and uh. Lots of useless shops. See you in the next one, guys.